Hi, my name is Sullivan Bolden. I'm a junior at Archmere Academy and I graduate in the class of 2016. I play for FC USA. Six years ago, I broke my foot and ever since I kind of just became more defensive as a player. And I think it's a good thing that happened to me. I'm more comfortable in the back. I feel like I know what I'm doing more and I get a better view of the field. I have a lot of speed and that helps me to get in better positions quicker and help the other defenders out in times of need. I'm Michael Finizio. I've been coaching soccer for quite a few years, boys and girls even at the semi-professional level in the U.S. First of all, I think Sullivan's major asset is her focus on the game. As a player, she has been playing for me as a defender. She's got all the attributes the defender needs to have. I had to ask her last season whether she's right-footed or left-footed because she can really handle the ball as an ambidexter player. My freshman year I made third team All-State and my sophomore year I made second team All-State. So my goal is to make first team this year. I ultimately want to play Division I soccer in college. Because I play center back, I have the best view on the field besides the goalie. And that requires me to be able to communicate with the other people on the field, like what I can see because there's times where I can just see it better just based on my positioning and so it kind of gives you a natural leadership role because you are the one that has to really feed information through everyone. She's a defender, but she has the freedom to attack. And usually attacking defenders are a lateral defender. And I always dreamed of a central defender who can attack through the middle. All of a sudden Sullivan starts attacking going forward. I consider this a definitely out of the ordinary quality. A girl who was on my team, her mom and family owned a hotel in Jamaica and they go down there every year and help with the SOS football camp, which is the camp for the orphans down there. And six days a week, we were there from the morning till the afternoon and we had each been assigned different age groups and within that age group you were helping the instructors with different drills and just teaching the kids like the basics and like having fun and there was like scrimmages and like little games there was fun times where we would like go in the ocean because it was right next to the field and you got to bond with the kids during lunch and when we went in the water I think it was a learning experience because I learned to appreciate what I have here and the differences that people go through. And it also made me appreciate like a family in some respect because those kids don't really have it. And then it also taught me to appreciate friendships because the people that I went there with, we just share that experience and it brought us closer together. I'm Stefan Shigel. I coach the U17 FC Philadelphia girls team. Uh, based out of the mainline Philadelphia area in Pennsylvania, specific to Sullivan. Uh, she joined this team this summer full time. She's played with us before. She's been a guest player in the past, uh, and we kind of we liked her athleticism a lot. And uh, she's uh, she's five foot nine, so she brings nice size to the table, nice physicality to the table. And it's about can we refine her technical and her tactical skills? And I think ultimately any Division One program uh, with her base athleticism. Uh, you, you have a Division One player. My day starts with getting up and going to school. I probably take an hour after school to just like digest everything. And then I go to practice, come back, do my homework, and go to bed. <laughs> I get good grades. I have a 3.9 GPA. I made honor roll my freshman and sophomore year. And that requires us to tutor the under, underclassmen now that I'm an upperclassman. I think that my time management skills that I've learned from growing up and especially in high school are going to contribute to how well I do in college because I've learned how to manage my time and I've learned how to deal with having a tough schedule and a lot of work on my own but in college we're given more freedom so I think that that will definitely help me. She's very quick on her feet. She can start from a standing still position and gain speed very quickly. 
It's not just speed, it's acceleration. And that for the defender is excellent. She makes an impact right away. So she earns the respect of the players right away based on the way she plays. Uh, she's also a very good listener. She's extremely respectful of her teammates and coaches, which is huge. Uh, one of the biggest things in the female game is chemistry. And she comes in and she's able to improve that team chemistry right away because she has the attitude and the respect uh, to do that. So there is peer pressure in every situation, in every kid's life. There's always going to be that pressure from your peers. And there's always going to be a party. There's always going to be a reason to go have fun with your friends. But I think as an athlete, you have to focus more on how that will affect your ability to perform. And school comes first, and then your sport. So the temptation to go out and party, I think, is lessened because you know you have the responsibility that some other kids don't. I'm a good teammate on and off the field. I, I make friends fairly easily. I have a strong work ethic. I don't let my mistakes put me down. I use it to fuel me to try harder next time. I think she will have a chance to start in any level, in any college, even Division I college. If she competes with all the freshmen, I cannot think of a freshman stronger than her at the college level. She's already well above average. Uh, so she's made a great improvement, and I'm sure she'll continue to improve. She's only a junior now. Uh, she'll be more than ready technically at the college level when she goes to college.